All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to lesson eight of the Surfside PPC WordPress money course. Today we're gonna to go over the top 18 WordPress plugins that you need for your website. These are all essential for the success of your website and they're gonna help you as you build your website. They're gonna help you optimize your website for search engines. Um, so basically everything from you know the security of your website to the optimization of your website, uh, these things will help with. Uh, so WordPress plugins, um, there's you know, if you look here, um, I'm on the plugins page, you can click, you know, go to the featured, popular, recommended, favorites, uh, premium. They also have the WordPress plugin directory. I mean, there's got to be thousands and thousands and thousands of WordPress plugins. Um, so basically what I've done is I narrowed down 18 WordPress plugins that I actually use and that I highly recommend for you. Um, these are going to be essential as we keep setting up videos. So I'm going to go through each one. I'm not going to install each one in front of you because this video would take an hour if I did that. Um, so uh, what I want to like keep, let you keep in mind too is if you go down to the comments section of this YouTube video, uh, if you go to the YouTube video um, in the info section, not the comment section, in the info section I'll have links to every single plugin and I'll have them all listed. So you know if you're going through the, the video and you have trouble finding them, I'll have links to everything right in the information part of this video on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Uh, so these are the top 18 WordPress plugins. So I've opened each one in its own separate page. I'm going to go through them one by one. Uh, first is Yoast SEO. Um, so Yoast is my favorite SEO plugin. Uh, you could either use Yoast or all-in-one SEO. I prefer Yoast. I think it's better. Um, so basically what all you do is once you install this plugin, you just kind of go through the step-by-step -step process for your website and you can SEO optimize every single page, every single product. Um, different things like that. So you kind of create a template for your website so that when you're publishing new things, it goes out to Google and Google is able to kind of read things better. Uh, you're able to optimize everything better. And you can also generate your sitemaps through Yoast. Um, so you can update, upload your sitemaps directly to Google Webmasters. I'll go through that kind of in the future. But Yoast SEO is my favorite SEO plugin. Um, they ha It is a completely free plugin. They also have a lot of premium versions available and the premium versions are pretty incredible for WooCommerce. Uh, so we're going to kind of go through those two as we go, but Yoast SEO, completely free, great plugin. I uh, highly recommend it to optimize your website. Number two is WooCommerce. Um, so WooCommerce basically adds the store to your website. Um, it makes it a lot easier for you to sell anything. Um, if you want to you know, sell products that people can download, if you want to sell physical products that you're shipping to people, WooCommerce has tons and tons of functionality, completely free. Uh, WooCommerce connects with the plugin we installed in the last video, which was called WooZone. Uh, WooZone allows us to add Amazon products directly and link right to the Amazon page with our affiliate link. So WooCommerce, you definitely need WooCommerce on your website. Uh, that's number two. So number three, so WooCommerce direct checkout. Don't worry about it not been tested with current version of WordPress. I'm using it right now on WordPress and it's just fine. Basically what WooCommerce Direct Checkout lets you do is instead of having a cart page on your website, when someone clicks add to cart on a product, it actually adds it to their cart on Amazon. So they go directly to Amazon. You're able to send more people to Amazon using WooCommerce Direct Checkout. It's kind of my preferred method of, you know, using WooCommerce websites. This is a matter of preference for you, but WooCommerce Direct Checkout, highly recommend you use this. You could skip the, you know, you see it here, skip cart page, redirect right to the Amazon checkout. So kind of send more people to Amazon and help increase your earnings. So WordPress Supercash, WP Supercash, um, basically it helps with the large portions of your website. So it's, you know, says, oh, this is expensive WordPress scripts, but kind of extensive, you know, huge WordPress files, huge HTML files, huge PHP files. They can be cached. Um, basically on search engines and all that, those types of things. So, you know, when people are visiting your website and they leave and come back and leave and come back, basically your server is able to deliver a file that's a lot smaller than kind of rebooting your website every single time someone goes. So our websites are going to end up being pretty large. Uh, so WordPress Super Cache is, it basically helps increase the speed of your website by caching pages of your website, large portions of your website. When people visit them, they it just pulls right out of the cache. It's quicker. Um, so WP Super Cache, just one of those plugins you add and enable and you never really have to worry about it again. So AMP for WordPress, AMP for WP, Accelerated Mobile Pages. 
Um, Accelerated Mobile Pages is, if you haven't heard about it, it's the Google AMP project. You've probably seen it in search results. If you search for any trending news story right now or anything, there should be an AMP version, you know, a website. And basically what it does is it takes your robust website and turns it into a more mobile-friendly website, um, kind of even better than the mobile-friendly version of your website, so it's faster. People click on it, and it loads instantly. Um, so AMP for WP allows you to take every single one of your pages and quickly and easily make them an accelerated mobile page. Um, so highly recommend this. You'll be higher in search results if you have you know, AMP pages because Google wants quickness. When people are searching on mobile, Google wants to give people the fastest website because, you know, then they're sending people to, to more websites. People aren't waiting there for their website to load. So AMP for WP, um, Accelerated Mobile Pages. Next one is Contact Form 7. Pretty self-explanatory. So Contact Form 7 allows you to create a quick contact form. You can have CAPTCHA there so people aren't going to abuse your contact form. And it helps you so, you know, emails go directly to your contact form. You don't have to know any code. You could just easily create a contact form through the plugin, and then you just put a little code on your page, and it'll display that contact form. People can fill out name, email, you know. They could they can write long things to you. They can all sorts of things like that. So Contact Form 7, my favorite contact form plugin, and you don't need to know any special code or anything. It'll email right to your email, and it'll keep track of all your contacts on the back end of WordPress, too. So WordFence Security, this is one of those plugins, it's free, but they also have a premium version. Um, you'll see here, most downloaded WordPress security plugin. Uh, so WordFence helps uh, kind of, it'll keep track of anybody who tries to log into your website. So if someone's trying to hack your website, um, it'll you know keep track of any types of bots that are visiting your website. If someone tries to do a distributed denial of service attack, it'll cut off some of those IP addresses. Um, it'll also create a firewall for your website. So pretty good uh good security plugin for your WordPress website security's you know obviously vital you don't want to get hacked and you don't want to lose all your information so WordFence security very good plugin the only downside here is it's a pretty big plugin so it can slow down your website a little bit um, just something to keep in mind so favicon by real favicon generator pretty self-explanatory so favicon is a little icon that explain that displays next to your website at the top um, so it's kind of this tiny little icon here you'll see, and it'll display at the top of your web page. Um, favicon by Real Favicon Generate allows you to upload one favicon, and it works across every single device you could possibly think of, mobile, tablet, desktop. Um, so pretty self-explanatory, very easy plug-in. You just kind of upload your, your basically your icon or whatever your logo icon is, something like that, uh, something to describe your website, and it'll display it. So simple 301 redirects, uh, probably the simplest plugin you'll ever see, but basically if as you're building pages on your website, you might want to consolidate your content. So maybe you have two large pages of content and they're related. You want to make that one page. A simple 301 redirect is an SEO-friendly way to redirect your page. So if you're maybe moving content from one page to another and you want to redirect that URL to the new page, you just use a simple 301 redirect. Very, very simple. Um, hasn't been updated in 10 months, but it's a small plugin. It's it's easy. I use it on one of my larger blogs, and I probably have hundreds of pages that I've redirected at this point, just old products that I've removed and kind of redirected them to new product pages or things like that. So simple 301 redirects. Even if you're not 100% sure what a 301 redirect is right now, um, it's just a very good plugin to have, and it's something that we're going to use as we go. So add inserter. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. You can insert ads, Google ads, um, Amazon ads, so see it here, Google AdSense, contextual Amazon native shopping ads, rotating banners, basically any type of ad you want to put up, affiliate banners. Um, ad inserter allows you to just basically say, okay, I'm going to add, so you'll see some custom code up here. You just add your code in there and you say, you know what, I want this ad to be shown on every single page at the top, and it'll automatically do that right away with a click of a button. Uh, you can quickly change your ad, you can quickly do anything, so ad inserter, one of my favorite ways to basically add different ad advertisements to your website easily. So next is going to be MailChimp for WordPress. haven't really gone over MailChimp yet, but I will. Uh, it's a great way to build your email list. Um, MailChimp for WordPress is, you know, quickly quickly integrated with your WordPress website. just makes everything easier. Instead of going through WordPress and adding it to your website, you just use the plugin. makes it a lot easier. So 
MailChimp for WordPress, this will come in handy more as we're building our email list. Broken link checker um, is helpful because, you know, we kind of went over to the 301 redirects earlier. The broken link checker will basically look at pages all over your website and you just go into the plugin and it'll let you say, hey, this link is going to a, you know, a 404 page. This link is going to a broken link and it helps you fix them. It's very good for SEO purposes. Uh, so as your website gets bigger, you're not going to be able to keep track of every single link and broken link. So this is a, a good way to do it. Next one is all in one schema.org rich snippets. Uh, so schema.org, so you'll see here your awesome site with rich snippets, your awesome site.com slash rich snippets. If you see here the reviews, so four and a half stars, rating 4.6, you know, how many reviews there was, how long the recipe takes, how many calories. Those are rich snippets. Um, it's showing an image over here too. They don't have that anymore, but those are rich snippets. Basically it's you know, information you're sending to Google that Google can read and display in their search engines. Um, so you'll see it down here. What is a rich snippet? It is basically a short summary of your page and the search results of Google, Yahoo, Bing, and sometimes the news feed of Facebook in a nice format with star ratings, author photo, image, etc. So, you know, let's see if we have screenshots here. All right, so here's kind of a good preview. Um, if you add all these things in the rich snippets preview, you'll see here it's you know, item review. This is the person who's reviewing it, the website, and it'll show the rating. It'll show, you know, what the actual rating is with the stars. Review by, you know, Sujay, who probably owns the website, what the date is. The excerpt from the page will show up here. Um, so this is basically a rich snippet. Sometimes, nah, I won't even bother. Sometimes they have larger ones, so I know you can search, you know, if you search different things, uh, you'll see rich snippets all the time in search engines. Uh, you know, search any old president, search any town, you might get a rich snippet that comes up. So this just makes it easier. You know, as you're building pages, it becomes harder to kind of optimize everything. This plugin does everything for you. All right, so the next plugin here is SEO optimized images. So we're going to be uploading a lot of images to our website as we go. Um, one of the most important things is the alt tag. Uh, so the alt tag tells search engines basically what your image is. So search engines aren't able to read images just like they read text. So you have an alt tag. So for example, let's just say you have an image of a picture of George Washington, you would put an alt tag George Washington. Just so Google can kind of see, okay, now we know what this picture is. If you don't tell Google what your picture is, um, not only is it bad for SEO, like is it, you know, Google will kind of say, okay, this image doesn't have an alt tag at all. You kind of get knocked down a peg. But um, having an alt tag helps with your overall article. You can target certain keywords with them. Um, so it's good for, it's just good for SEO purposes. So SEO optimized images um, will help you add alt tags to every single image. Um, so WP optimize, WordPress optimize. Um, so basically effective tool for automatically cleaning your WordPress database so that it runs at maximum efficiency. Uh, your WordPress website is basically just a huge MySQL database. Um, and what this allows you to do, so it just says removes all unnecessary data, trash, unapproved spam comments, all sorts of data that's on your website that you don't need, it'll just automatically delete. So WP Optimize, something you don't really need to do much with, you just kind of add and, and it helps delete, um, you know, it helps clean up some of the excess data in your website you don't need. Akismet, um, so I always wonder if I say this right, I probably, I'm probably saying it wrong, Akismet, uh, but it's uh, for blog comments, um, it tells blog whether it's, so it says hammer spam. Um, so it's it's a great plugin, so it can detect spam comments. You're going to get tons of spam comments as you get into search results. Um, so Kismet allows you to block them for free. Um, I've used this plugin forever. I think it comes with every WordPress website. All you have to do is set it up pretty quickly and easily. Um, and then it'll start putting a ton of comments into spam, and that'll allow you just to delete your comments. Uh, Google Analytics for WordPress by Monster Insights. So this might come, this might come with your blog as well. I'm not. A, I know it came with mine as I installed it. It might just be something that HostGator installs automatically. Um, so Monster Insights is a great Google Analytics plugin. It allows you to basically connect Google Analytics and your uh, blog, so you can see everything quickly and easily. Um, you don't have to kind of constantly log into Google Analytics to go through your data. You can go through it right on your website. And I just like Monster Insights. It's a good uh, good way to keep track of your Google Analytics data that you have and basically everything that's going on in your website. 
So last but not least, we have Access Press Social Share here. Um, there's tons of social sharing apps. You can kind of you kind of mess with this these as you see fit, but um, basically it's a free plugin, and you can add buttons to your website. You can see them over here. Uh, you, so you could add these buttons to like your articles, your products, so people can quickly share things. I usually just do Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Uh, maybe. Google Plus or LinkedIn. Those are kind of the most popular. You can also do mail, you can print. Uh, basically anything you can think of. There's tons of uh, social media options, um, but it's great for getting increased social sharing on your website. As you're getting traffic, you want to add these sharing buttons because just more people are going are gonna to share everything. So I'm going to go ahead and install these plugins now on my website. We just went through 18 amazing plugins. Uh, we started at Yoast SEO and then tons more options. So um, again, go into the info section of this video and you can get links to each and every plugin. Um, if you go here to add plugins and just search for certain plugins, so for example, let's just say I do Yoast SEO. Uh, so you'll see here Yoast SEO, install now. Quickly show you how to install and activate a plugin. So there you go, install. We click activate. And that's going to bring me to my plugins page and show that. I have the Yoast SEO plugin now activated, and I'm going to do this for each and every single one here. Um, so next, it's going to be WooCommerce um, and kind of all these different things here. So that's basically it. Um, I have my Yoast SEO plugin now here. Um, you'll see kind of it along the side. So Y SEO Dashboard Search Console Premium. So you just go through these things. You connect your Search Console. I'll go through all of that <coughs> as we go and. Uh, Thanks again for joining me today. Uh, I recommend installing these 18 plugins to your website, and uh, we'll kind of go through them as we go, and uh, make sure you subscribe for more video updates.